What if there was a solution to global warming? A way to get rid of harmful carbon dioxide emitted into our atmosphere. Well, there just might be a way now. And the technology could be what lies inside this vehicle. You know, technology got us into this problem. You know, and technology is the only thing that's going to get us out. And we're not going to stop the uh, fossil fuel economy for hundreds of years. Derek McLeish heads up Carbon Sciences, and he's here to show me how their invention turns CO2 into useful products. The technology is new, but the chemical process has been around for 200 years. That process? Green carbon technology. And it's all done with this machine, which is a prototype right now. What we do is we take the CO2 under pressure and temperature, and we combine it with mine slimes and tailings. And those are very small ground up rocks. This is a mobile science lab, and everything has to be in place and secured tight. Good, now we got it bolted down. Let me turn it on. You can see the pressure over here on the screen, and now we're creating the pressure up in here, and we're going to take it up to, oh, about 200 pounds. And that, combined with the temperature, we're going to drop this down now and add heat. And at the end of this process, we'll have a calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate is great for glass. It makes glass. It makes uh, wallboard, plastics. Um, it's a filler. It's used for paper, where it actually whitens paper. So this is what this can make? It can make this. This is one cubic foot of wallboard. And that one cubic foot of wallboard holds 100 cubic feet of carbon dioxide. Forever. Something CO2 emitters should be happy about. Our supporters really are people who are in manufacturing and uh, coal fire plants. They see this as something they need. And it's not just for building materials. The green carbon technology can even be pressed into... This little chalk right here is what we made out of that material. And that way we turned harmful CO2 into useful building materials and things that people can use. For now, McLeish is drumming up support to turn this invention into reality.